Success is a seductive mistress, always whispering promises of glory in your ear, right? But beware of this mistress because beneath the surface, there's a minefield of moral decay. And so in this episode, we're peeling back the layers of leadership and exposing the hidden dangers that threaten to shatter your character and your credibility. Hey there, my name is Isai Rodriguez, and this is where we build your leadership skills and your home business profits one actionable tip at a time. So hit the subscribe button, ring the notification bell, and let's get started. So today we're tackling a topic that could make or break your journey to success. It's the four A's that can destroy any leader, right? You know, in this industry, We often hear about the importance of ambition and talent and drive, but what about character? You know, a wise man once told me, he once said, leaders cannot rise above the limitations of their character. So what are these four A's that the experts warn us about? Let's break them down. So the first A is for arrogance, all right? You've probably seen this in, in, in uh, you know, for yourself, right? You've probably experienced this. Someone reaches a new level of success in their business and suddenly they, you know, they start feeling invincible, right? They, they stop listening to others. They, they think they know it all and then they stop growing, right? But here's the reality. Arrogance can be the downfall of even the most talented people because it blinds you to your own weaknesses and it isolates you from your team, right? The next A that we're referring to is aloneness. So it's that feeling of being isolated, even in a room full of people, right? The truth is success can be lonely, period. That There's the whole uh, I don't know if it's a meme, but a saying that says it's, it, there's, you know, it's lonely at the top. That's because when you hit success, when you truly succeed, you're gonna realize that you're one, in, you're almost one in a million, right? You're, you're, there's not very many people up on top because there's not very many people that have the drive, the desire, the, um, the habits to create success, right? Especially if you lose touch with your values and the people who matter most to you. So don't let the journey of success lead you down a path of isolation and emptiness, right? That's, it's not fun at all, right? So next up, let's talk about the destruction of adventure seeking, right? This is the third A, is adventure seeking. So this is when success becomes a thrill ride to you, right? This is when, you know, you start taking unnecessary risks just for the adrenaline rush. Maybe it's, you know, maybe you cut corners. Maybe you bend the rules a little bit, right? Or, or maybe you chase short-term gains at the expense of your long-term stability. This may seem harmless at first, but every reckless decision that you make, it chips away at the integrity, at your integrity and your credibility, right? And it continues to do so until you have nothing left, right? It chips away and chips away and chips away until you have zero integrity and zero credibility. So don't do it. Stay focused on your mission and stay away from adventure seeking. And then last but not least, we have adultery. And no, (laughs) I'm not just talking about infidelity in relationships. We're talking uh, adultery, quote unquote, in terms of your leadership, right? So this is when you betray your values, when you betray your commitments, when you betray your team, right? You're adulting on your values, on on your commitments, on your team. It's when you prioritize your personal gain over the well-being of others, right? Trust me when I say this, <laughs> nothing just destroys a leader's credibility faster than a lack of integrity. It's, it's hard enough as it is in this day and age to build your credibility in the first place, right? So you don't want to slip in, the, in terms of, uh, you know, of your values and your commitments, right? And then lose it all in the blink of an eye right? I'll give you an example from my own personal experience. Um, So I'm part of several mentorship programs, right? And groups and whatnot. 
And then, uh, and one of these groups is is led by uh, I call them a tag team. You know, it's, it's a duo basically. It's two guys, uh, you know, two heavyweight titans. I would say in their respective fields, and they basically came together uh, with a common goal, essentially to rise uh, to help others, uh, small business entrepreneurs, basically get started and and um, you know rise above the noise. And so recently, um, some news came out on one of these, uh, one of the leaders of this, you know, tag team that really brought some questions and doubt in my mind about all the things that we've discussed up to now, right? Now, I'm not going to mention, I'm not going to mention details or names because I don't want to muddy the waters or anything like that. However, my point is this, right? For years, I followed these guys. I listened and I implemented things that they suggested, right? And they, I mean, obviously they work. They knew what, they clearly know what they're doing, right? In terms of uh, what they're leaders out of, right? So like, however, uh, like in their own field, they, when, when you talk with them, you know that they're leaders, right? You get that sense that, and they give you that perspective and make you think like, wow, I didn't. I I did not look at it that way, right? Like that's great perspective. But here's what I'm saying: in the blink of an eye, just like that, now I'm questioning. Like even like, am I even like? Do I even want to continue in this group anymore? Right? Like I'm I'm even having a hard time uh, articulating right now how I feel. But they've since broken up. And the dirty leader, the dirty leader has left the group. So for now, I'm sticking around. However, the credibility of the remaining leader is now in question, right? So that's that's my point. I followed these guys around for quite some time. And, you know, they've always been solid guys. They've always been solid leaders. They've, they've always led me right, right? Like right down the, the right path, I should say. And in the blink of an eye, just like that, now everything is in question. Like now I'm thinking, like I'm suck, I'm second guessing myself, right? Again, luckily the dirty leader left, and so there's one guy left, and um, you know, I, I'm, we'll see what happens. You know, I'm gonna take him. It's gonna take him a long time to to build up that trust to the level that it was just last month. You know what I mean? But. That's what I'm talking about here. That's what we're talking about. It's actually a shame, but the, the, you know that's that's the way it works, right? You you move, you put in work, you put in to you know to build up your credibility, and then in the blink of an eye, it could be gone just like that. So moving on from here, anyway, what can we do to avoid falling into these traps? Right? Simple. <laughs> we need to constantly examine the condition of our character. Right? Is your character in check? Do you have it in check? Right? Are your words and your actions aligned with your values? Are you walking the walk and talking the talk, if you will? Right? Are you, you know, are, are we staying true to your commitments both personally and professionally? Because remember, your character is your most valuable asset in this industry, in business in general, right? It's what sets you apart as a leader that's worth following and one that's not, you know what I mean? So let's commit to staying above the line between right and wrong, right? And, and let's steer clear of those dangerous gray areas, if you will, right? So there you have it, my friends. That's my tip for today. I hope this episode inspired you to take a closer look at your character and your leadership skill or your style i should say but that being stay uh that being said keep hustling and always lead with integrity if you found this episode helpful and inspiring hit the subscribe button ring the notification bell and if you have any questions if you like uh you know any topics that you'd like to discuss feel free to drop them down in the comments below also don't forget to follow the link in my uh, in the description for access to my free masterclass training where I unveil the exact steps to make your dream a reality. We're talking actionable tips, real world examples, and step by step guidance on everything from uh, building passive income streams to leveraging the power 
of online assets so that you can create your own financial fortress against inflation and ultimately for you to create freedom of time. Until the next time, stay legendary, my friends, and I'll catch you on the next episode. Take care now. Bye.